everyone! Today I will be going through the behind the scenes of the Leviathan. So this was done for my 300 follower giveaway in which the request was for a Leviathan, a mythical creature from the sea initially but can literally be any big mythical serpent creature. I hope you enjoy! For most paintings, I would normally start off with doing the background layer, so either a clear blue, or in this case I probably would have done a grey, but given how complex the Leviathan design is, I thought I should better start with a sketch and then work my way from that. The video you're currently watching is 16 times the speed of how fast I actually painted, and if you looked at my shorter 3 minute leviathan video, that is 64 times the speed of how I was painting. So they take a long time and in total it took just under 3 hours. I started off with yellow and the fangs and horns of the leviathan because I was pretty sure that if I started off with the base blue color then I would lose those fine details and struggle to add that color yellow later on. I've been using acrylic paints for most of my videos, including this one, so to make the finer color that are semi-translucent, I used to mix them with water, and I did this as I go so that I have them readily available and just so I can see the finer detail below.
Before finishing the finer detail of the Leviathan, I started on the background so then I can see how dark my background really will be like and therefore change the color scheme in the Leviathan to be slightly darker or to keep it at the lighter stage it currently is. As I am at uni, I am using budget acrylic paints, so they're slightly harder to mix and to paint with, which worked relatively well for this video, but for my previous painting video for the song Up Down by Epic Boy, it, you could tell I was struggling because also since the hu air humidity is very dry here, it was just cracking as I was going along and still it's still cracking even now so I need to figure out how to combat that or just bite the bullet and get my acrylics from home. Now that I started shading the Leviathan with a watered down black paint, you can start seeing some shape and definition start to form, especially as the eyes and the head gain more detail. I really enjoyed doing the splashes of the water against the Leviathan's tail as water has no clear definitive form so I could do anything I wanted and it would just be correct. It would look like it's water just flowing and splashing around. this is the final form of my Leviathan. I really hope you enjoyed this video and the process it took behind the scenes in the commentary and make sure to like and subscribe to support me. Thank you so much and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye!